Samson and Delilah is based on the famous story of Samson and Delilah uh, from, from the Old Testament, from the Bible. I love actually everything in this opera. Camille Saint-Saëns was a composer who really bridged the two centuries, the 19th century and the 20th century composition scene. He really enriched uh, the French style of working in a, in, a, in, a, in a very spectacular way. He had the idea of writing an oratorio, and the way he uses the chorus uh, demonstrates how important the chorus is in the opera. As we see in the second act, which is the most operatic act of the whole piece, um, we have dramatic opera scenes that, that, that really come from the spirit of, of Verdi and, 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 and Richard Wagner too. We have here a total hybrid, uh, both. It's neither an opera, it's neither an oratorio, it is, it's a new uh, form of, of art. A piece that we all know and is, a, is one of the all-time favorites also on the concert podium is the Bacchanal, uh, one of uh, Saint-Saëns' most, most, most famous pieces, a big ballet scene, a fantastic piece of music that, that you might recognize. And it's Saint-Saëns' fantastic melodic invention, his exciting orchestration, and the orchestration and the, the richness, the virtuosity uh, is, is mind-blowing and, and a joy to play and a joy to conduct and a joy to perform. Yeah, so please tune in um, and, and listen to the Bacchanal first. And if you like that music, you will love Samson and Delilah. It's more an oratorio than an opera. So my, in my opinion, the first for any production. I like a cinematic way of telling the story and a cinematic way of uh, acting on stage. I don't like the opera with the chorus online and reproducing the, uh, the same gesture at the same time with the same costume, everyone, and just one, one person is in the middle of something. For me, everyone is unique, like at the cinema. So it's, it's my, it is my goal to transform this oratorio in a sort of opera, uh, very cinematic. Oh, it's, I, I chose it because it was simple. The context for me, the most natural context, which is the rise of the Nazism and the Kristallnacht, just because it was one of the most famous events of this period in which the synagogues and the Jewish businesses had been destroyed. It is the, it's perfect to tell to, as a context for, the, for this transposition. All the scenes are important. If I would be obliged to focus on a certain scene, on a certain scene, it would mean that my dramaturgy of my transposition is problematic. Of course, some scenes are more as more impact than other other scenes. It's because of the composition and because of Saint-Saëns, not because of me. Quest'opera è stata trasposta, è stata trasposta per motivi drammaturgici per cui insieme al regista si è deciso di trasporre durante l'avvento del nazismo per dare maggior, diciamo, un'impronta maggiore a questa rappresentazione. Penso che la scelta di trasporlo, di trasporre l'opera in, in questo periodo storico attraverso un punto di vista che guarda la situazione come in un film in bianco e nero sia l'aspetto vincente, sia molto interessante. Forse la, la scelta artistica di concepirli come se fossero visti attraverso un filtro bianco e nero, che non è bianco e nero, ma mh, è concepito come attraverso una nuance di, di grigi, partendo dai bianchi e arrivando ai neri, proprio come se fosse un film in bianco e nero. Il rosso in determinati punti, ehm, questi tocchi che ricordano ehm, l'aspetto legato al nazismo ma anche al sangue. Questi abiti con un rigore incredibile storico ma rivisitati attraverso i materiali e appunto il colore non colore. The audience should have a black and white vision on the stage. So basically, there is no scene without with color. Everything is cold. It's like to you know to to give this idea of this uh, dystopic sensation 
of this moment of history that is very painful. There's no color in uh, suffering, so there's no color in pain, somehow. There are some scenes where uh, we have to give like nightmare sensation. There is a, a, a moment in the second, uh, sorry, in the third act, the, the Nazis plays with the Jewish. They're all, they're all drunk and they are using the Jewish to make fun of them, to enjoy them. There is a special moment where I want to give a different sensation, like a, like a sort of uh, nightmare, but suspended in time, something uh, a little bit uh, weird, without space and time. I, th I think that it's a great gift right now for the audience to be able to come to the theater and see the show, because in many theaters in the world, they cannot do that right now. So they are, somehow they are lucky, and I hope they're gonna enjoy it.